Thai noodles. That is a fried noodles in Thai style or Pad Thai. That's the most popular. That is a, on the table. You can see you have a oil. We have uh, some fish sauce, we have sugar, and this is a uh, Thai sauce that is not a lot. So you do not need to use uh, the fish sauce in the bowl. We just use uh, the Thai sauce only, that's why we combine them together. Three of them that we talk about. That we have uh, the tamarind, the juice, sugar, and fish sauce already. So before we use it, we have to stir, combine, mix them together, three of them, fish sauce, sugar and tamarind. So this is a pad thai sauce. So we have to combine. If so, that is, so you can see the sugar on the bottom. And next it is uh, to make sure that you understand about uh, the tamarind. This is like a piece of in the market in the morning, in a package like this. And then we take it and mix with uh, clean water or boiling water. And then we get uh, only the juice like this. So that uh, at home, if you cannot buy the tamarind meat like this, you can buy from uh, the juice, the bottom, or the can. And then you can mix up uh, for Thai sauce. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. And then, <laughs> next strategy is uh, on the dish. Um, each dish that is, uh, I would say, common first. We have egg noodles, that is, uh, after you soak up, I believe in the water, you can touch uh, your, your noodles uh, on your dish here. That is, uh, should be half soft and half hard, like this. Not too soft, not too hard. And then we have egg, half food, the fresh one. And uh, the one that is, you have not to miss it, that is uh, the chai, Chinese chai. We have a peanut, dry shrimp, if you are allergic, allergic or uh, dry shrimp, you just give it. And we have a pork, we have uh, onions, or the red shallot. And we have uh, chili, dry chili, a little bit. And we sprout. And peanuts, that is, we keep it for the last. Before you finish. And then, that is, Nan uh, Mahirva, she will start uh, to demonstrate us about the part time for you right now, too. Thank you. Sorry, the one that is uh, I missed uh, the brown one a little, uh, light brown, which is a uh, salted, pink, uh, Chinese radish. Make it sweet and salty a little bit. The radish. So, Pad Thai, we do not need uh, hot water or cold oil. Just uh, go together. If it's too hot, it will be burnt by the shallot and the chili. You might not follow her, you just leave the eggs out to make sure. Okay? The tofu. Combine them together. And dry shrimp, pork, We have cook that is uh, until the uh, pork starts to soft and uh, not really done because pork will be in the wok for a long time that is will cook by itself that's only hard way of cooking and then noodles when we cook in uh, the iron wok like this do not worry about that will be uh, stuck in the wok it will wok that is uh, because we have uh, the tamarind sauce to help and if it's too dry, we do not need uh, to get uh, more oil. Just water, a little bit water to eat each time. If it's too dry, do not need to add more oil. It will be oily. 
Except that you see for this stuff with egg, that you see need a little bit of oil. So we need a little bit oil for it at this time. We just push, I mean, um, the noodles another side of the wall. and the chai. some lamb over it, you will get a new taste of the uh, style, which is from the lamb, and get, uh, get some smell. So that's finished for Pad Thai, that will be your turn. Before your turn, you can uh, taste it, that is uh, how the uh, Pad Thai uh, works like this. <laughs> 